Hey, I'm doing this preacher man on being this another Gotham News Mondays. This week is season one, episode nine, and what happens on this week's episode? Jim Gordon meets Harvey uh, Dent, and who Harvey Dent is in the comics is Two Face, and uh, we get the backstory of Two Face in this episode. But what Harvey Dent is doing is helping uh, Jim Gordon find the Wayne's killer, and he tells this higher up in Gotham that th that he got some witness. So the Wayne's killer, and he can uh, connect this guy to the Wayne's killer. And I think, if I remember correctly, this is the guy that had him killed, but I can't remember. It's been so long since I watched the season. It should, I should have it reviewed up to that point to figure out. So just check them old reviews out. But anyway, uh, he talks to this guy, and he tells him, and he gets him rattled up, and he tells other people, and he tells Jim Gordon that he's told people about the witness but they he there's nothing on paper and there's no way it could get tied back to Slim Cow. But in the next episode we're gonna find out that it does. And uh, the next episode is gonna be the season finale of the season whenever it originally aired, but I'm gonna keep reviewing it up to I uh, catch up to where I am in my when I started off reviewing a year ago. And uh, what else is happening? Penguin finds out that Fish Mooney has Liza spying on Falcon. And the reason he finds this out because he goes to Liza's room and smells a scarf that smells like lilac. And then he goes to talk to Fish Mooney and smells Fish Mooney. She smells like lilac. Now Penguin knows that Liza is working for uh, Fish Mooney. And he tells Liza if she doesn't cooperate and doesn't keep working for Fish Mooney that he'll kill her and he'll tell Falcon what's really going on. So now Liza is under the penguin and penguin has control of whether she lives or dies now. And uh, what else is happening? Selena Kyle's staying with Bruce Wayne and Wayne Manor and she's counting them for his training exercises that he's doing, saying that it ain't gonna help him none. And what Bruce Wayne is doing is training up to become Batman. He's holding his breath on the water, he's learning how to box. Well, all this stuff does come to play when he's Batman, but Catwoman is not understanding and say it's not gonna help him out on the streets. And uh, at what's happening with Jim Gordon, they got this case where this inmate gets broken out of jail from the Russian mob and he has to blow up all this stuff that fit, that uh, Falcone owns because Fish Mooney hired the Russian mob to do this and the Russian mob broke this guy out of jail and he's being kidnapped by the Russian mob if he doesn't do this stuff that the Russian mob's going to kill his uh, brother and his family and he's mentally insane and he's not right in the head and he puts a uh, thing off a table that at this metal factory and puts it in a bomb that way they can trace it back to the place where he's making the bombs and Jim Gordon and Bullet find them and he won't, he's trying to get help from them and the Russian mob takes Hargrove and takes them away and then Jim Gordon and Bullet surround them at the next job and save Hargrove and uh, Butch winds up blowing up the truck with all Falcon's money and killing the worst mob. And that's what happens in this episode. My question for y'all is what do y'all think is going to happen with Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne in the next couple of episodes? As always, it's been on this Sunday night. That's Fuji Sauce. See ya.